Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the Scrap Mechanic creations that were shared with me in my Discord. Alright, so let's head on over to the water because the first creation that we're going to be checking out today is... A nice boat! Oh, would you look at that? It's an adorable, cute little boat. The headlights are underwater, but... And look at the dashboard! My goodness, it's got everything! Oh, oh, okay, number one is the thrust. We're just going. And number two is the lights. All right, definitely don't steer into a rock. There we go. Very, very responsive steering. Holy moly. I gotta say, this is a pretty nice boat. People in the back seats, though, might need a little bit of a... Oh no, they can still breathe. They'll be fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> also, also, I like how there's bubbles going up. Anyway, we'll just leave that there. It's fine. Here we got a truck, no mods, by Mr. Person. Oh, it's even got an air-conditioned cabin. Nice. All right. Oh, I should probably uh, close that passenger door. There we go. All right, look at this thing. Man, look at the decorations they put in the front and everything. The hood looks nice. All right, so number one is the door. Number two? Number two are headlights. Number three? Ah, number three is the hitch in the back, the trailer hitch thing. Number four? Number four is the radio, and number five... Nice big ol' horn. Alright, so let's give this thing a good old test drive. Is this... is this the electric engine? It seems a little bit slow for a top speed for a truck. Like a transport truck? Something that would be driving on the highway? But for electric... You know, you know, you know what? Let's find this engine. Where is this engine? Excuse me, excuse me. Just crank that up to max. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Wahoo! <laughs> ah! You know what, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. The tires, the tires have some grip. We can right ourselves, even if we flop over. Oh gosh. It's really easy to do. <laughs> oh! oh, look at this thing. Doing derby races, like rally races with these trucks would be amazing. Vroom. Well, that truck is a lot of fun. Good stuff, good stuff. What do we got next? Oh, game of bots. Game of Bots. Up next, we got Game of Bots by Jigglepin. All right, just weld it in place. Let's hop on up. Our seat is over there. This has probably got to be one of the coolest uses of the bot capsule that I've ever seen. Actually, let's take a look and see what we're actually dealing with here, because uh, I noticed that there is an... Oh, what? <laughs> nice. Nice, so each side's got a huge Game of Thrones throne on each side. Nice. Ducks everywhere. But I'm surprised that they're not using uh, farm bots for this, for the uh, for the royalty. And there's only a couple of tape bots for the rook. <laughs> yeah, do you think the white side's gonna win or the black bots are gonna win? Make your predictions now. Let's see, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, a little bit of lag. But hey, that was very quick, very, very quick. And these bots are a little bit distracted by me. I gotta run away. No, 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 no. I might have affected the outcome of this fight. All right, but it seems like, it seems like three white bots remain. You know what, I'm gonna do this a second time, see if I can get a different result. I'm not sure if that's, this is how it always happens or 
Well, we'll find out, we'll find out. All right, so the exact same thing, except this time I welded it the other way around so that the white team uh, is on, uh, which which way are we looking at this from? I, I don't know, it's the other way around. I, I welded it the other way around. Okay, so let's see if we end up with three white bots at the end, or maybe this time we're gonna end up with three black bots. Three, two, one, go. Ah! Tate bot getting distracted by me. All right, so it does seem like there was three black bots there, but for whatever reason, this tape bot never moved from this corner. And I think it was for that reason that the white team ended up winning again. That's very strange. All right, what do we got next? Here we got a Truck 2 with Piston Engine by Mr. T. Let's check it out. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. That hurt my FPS a little bit. All right, is this a truck or a bus? I'm not sure. Wait a second, what? Wait a second, what? Hold on, hold on a second. Do you guys see what's going on right now? I'm in the seat. I'm in the driver's seat. Oh, not anymore. Never mind. I was in the driver's seat and I saw the things in my hotbar and not the switches and buttons. That was the weirdest thing that just, like, how did that happen? What? I just did it again! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> so, I can press. I can, uh, yeah, I can still. What the heck? Did I even have the concrete block selected or what? Oh. Oh ho ho. I figured out how to do it. Well, anyway, anyway, hop it into the driver's seat of this uh, black bus looking truck. Number one is the door. Number two. Number two is a button, but it toggles the lights. Why is this not a switch? I'm a little bit confused by that, but uh, it's pretty cool. Number three. Okay, seems to turn on the piston engine. Number four. Ah, seems like we turned on the drive gear. Okay, okay, turn that off for a second. Hey, we got, uh, we got steering signals too, nice. Number five is the reverse gear. Ah, got it. All right, so switch to the drive gear. Cool, perfect. Wow, my FPS is a little bit low. Let's see what's going on on the inside. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go, that would explain it. Oh, oh, that, okay, okay, so that's the drive gear on top. That's the reverse gear on bottom. So you can't activate both the gears at the same time or else they'll lock up. Pretty cool truck. It's a little bit of a shame that uh, piston engines like really kill the FPS because they're some of the coolest creations, I think. Up next, we're taking a look at this huge mega empty warehouse. Is it huge or is it mega? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Holy moly, I was even able to spawn this in. <laughs> All right, it looks like it has uh, some appropriate little feetsies for the bottom, so let's just go ahead and drop it. Drop it right on down. We don't need to weld it. Okay, okay, maybe we do need to weld it. Oh, got my frames back. Just to give you guys an idea of like the scale of this thing, like this is massive. Huge Mega, Huge Mega is correct. Huge Mega was the correct answer. All right, let's hop right on in and see what we got. Storage. Oh, oh. Oh, nice. Okay, that killed my frames, so we're gonna go without lights. What? Oh, it's got one of those elevator things. Nice. Aw. Oh, just like in survival mode. 
That's pretty cool though. They got like an entire warehouse room. Jeez, almost like exactly like from survival. I gotta turn on these lights though. Dang, these lights are bright. Some of the brightest lights in the game right here. Hey, hey, some storage. Oh, cool, secret vents that you can go in. Awesome. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're hopping right on in. Hopping right, hop, hop, hopping right on in. Yeah! Being chopped up alive. All right. <laughs> Just climbing through the vents. No one will even know that I was here. Wow, this is pretty cool. Also pretty complicated. There must be like a normal, like a regular way to go up to the second floor. <laughs> and you come out into the bathroom? Cool. And you come out, for anyone that was wondering, for anyone that was wondering, you come out of the bathroom on the men's side. All right, and that's right out into the office, office space in the second floor. And look at that, you can even oversee the warehouse that we were in earlier from the office. That's pretty cool. Vending machine, air conditioning, water cooler. Yup, it's an office. All of these chairs are the spinny kind. Spinny kinds of chairs. Spin, spin, spin. All right, so then what else have we got on the second floor up here? That's super cool how they did uh, this aesthetic on the side here. All these piping. Ah, an elevator. Does it actually work? Excuse me, elevator. Hey, so they got a fully functioning elevator. Okay, that makes sense though. It's only one floor, one button to push. You're either up or down. Got it. Hey, and you can see yourself going. All right. So this is the rest of the first floor that we never really got to see. Just explore. Oh, it's the other side. Okay, it's just the other side from the entrance. Got it. Amazing, amazing warehouse. Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna stick a nuke in the corner here, in the corner of the warehouse. You store your new clear stuff in the corner. We're gonna shoot it from way over here. See how much of the warehouse is left. Oh! <laughs> I was surprised there for a second. I was like, wait, none of it's left? No, 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 we actually got a tiny, tiny corner of it left. Wow, would you look at that? Hey, here we've actually got Elevator 3.0 by Mr. Person. Let's check it out. Seems like a bunch of piston. It seems like they did this without any mods at all. And they got a bunch of sensors to tell the elevator logic. Oh my gosh, to tell the elevator logic what floor it's on. All right, let's hop right on in. Pretty cool elevator box. Oh, look at that, nice controls and everything. <laughs> what luck, turn it on and it's the elevator music. All right, let's go, uh, I don't know, floor, which one's number one? Which one's number one? I don't know which one's number one. I guess we'll go number three or four. So, am I on number one? Was that number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine? I just went all the way up to the top. Uh, okay, let's go uh, press this one then. Do we turn off this one? Okay, okay, we're shooting down. So is that floor number one or number two then? Is that number one? So it goes top to bottom, left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, the light automatically turned off. So then this is number two. Three, four, five, six. Is that six? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay then. <laughs> all right, all right. So this one's number two. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't know how to work an elevator. All right, so let's go to number two then. Not to number one. Yeah, there you go, there you go. This one down here then should be the top floor. Let's go to the top floor. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. <laughs> this, L oh my gosh. For a second there, oh my gosh. All right. I gotta say, this is a very impressive build. Good stuff, Mr. Person. Yeah, look at this, look at this logic here. I'm so confused by what's going on with this. I've got no idea what's going on with all this. Like, look at this, look at this, spaghetti noodles. Come on, without any sauce, there's no way that I can ingest this. Good stuff, Mr. Person. Elevator 3.0. Up next, we're gonna be taking a look at an attack helicopter. Look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous looking. Attack helicopter. Got uh, WASD controls. Camera controls, okay. Let's hop in and uh, give it a try. <laughs> I like how I like barely, barely fit in the cockpit. Dwarf-sized helicopter, love it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, WS should be move up down, right? Up down, okay. And a wow, 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 wow. AD is roll, and holy moly, that is a very, very fast roll. Uh, so then, camera control. Okay, it does the steering and the forward back tilt. Got it. Got it. I gotta say, for uh, for helicopter controls, this is actually pretty intuitive. Oh my gosh, the the roll though, <laughs> the AD roll is like way potent. Holy moly! And you gotta, you really gotta look straight down if you actually wanna fly forward. <laughs> you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that roll? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go up a little bit. My God, it is so potent! Like, where, 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 where? Uh, helicopters can't actually do that, right? <laughs> all right. So number one, number two, number two is the auto cannons. Pew 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 pew. Pew 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 pew. Oh wow! Heck yeah! There you go, made very quick work of that tree. Uh, we, what do we got for number three is missiles. Oh, nice. Oh, almost got it, almost got it. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't wrap around a tree, please. Uh-oh, 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 just get out of there, get out of there. I, what what is happening? What is happening? Aside from having no training whatsoever, I gotta say this is probably one of the best helicopters I've ever flown. Pew! All right. No 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 no! Up next we got an RGB block animator. All right, let's see what this is. RGB block animator. Oh, okay, so it's got a bunch of memory panels back there. It looks like we're just gonna be watching a movie. I'm kind of confused. What are these blocks back here for? All right. Hi, hello. Was that it? <laughs> Pretty cool RGB block animator. Okay, here we go. We got a flywheel. Uh, let's see what this is. What the heck? Okay. What the heck? What the heck? Where'd it go? <laughs> what? Okay, so this is a flying wheel, but I didn't realize this is like an automated... This is like an automated uh, trebuchet or like catapult or something. Let's go ahead and uh, spawn another one. Okay. Okay, all right, no, 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 enough of that. 
Maybe uh, cut this gap. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, a flying wheel. All right, up next we got my first bots premium pack. Check it out, we're checking out some bots. All right, what do we got first? What do we got first? Uh, let's go with the tote bot first. Okay, okay. Wait. There's no seat or anything. I get. Do we just sit here? <laughs> do we just like crouch here and operate this? This thing comes with instructions. Is your friend Rookie Cookie? Like, what the heck is this guy talking about? <laughs> Thoughts Bot, Hey Bot, and Firm Bot. Uh, the switch is to turn it on, and the button on the head is the noise. Oh, so the side buttons are steering. Okay. I think I'm gonna put a little seat on that. So I've gone ahead and I put a little seat on it so that I can uh, take a look at it from the outside. This is the Thought... Thought Bot Boat. Thought Boat? So that's a little box that you can drive around based on the Toad Bot. Here we got one based on the Hay Bot. Let's check it out. Hey, this one's got a seat on it. Hey, check it out! So it's like a trike motorcycle thing. Nice! Nice! So I gotta say, for somebody's first bot builds, these are amazing. These are like way over the top. Uh, what do we got here for this one? This one we got a seat. Whoa, okay, seat way in the back. Firm butt. Uh, first switch is the door, okay. Second switch is to turn on. All right, we're going. Do we got any uh, WASD? No, we do not. Uh, three? Okay, three was to put the seat in, which I did not do. Ah! <laughs> Pushing the drill down helped steer me out of the way of those rocks. Beautiful. Wait, two buttons push the drill down? What? Wait, what? Is that how I'm supposed to steer? Hold on a second. <laughs> Look at this, if I push this button, the left wheels make contact and I'm steering right. If I push this button, the right wheels, there we go, the right wheels are making contact and I'm steering left. What the heck? <laughs> nice, we even got a spud gun on this. And the working claw, we got a working claw on the front. Hiya! Hiya! I'ma get you! Hiya! <laughs> Farm bots go hiya! Up next, we're taking a look at multi linkage suspension trophy truck by Herhuan07. There's always gonna be, what the heck's going on with that suspension? What the heck, dude? How do you even build this triangular nonsense? What? Th this. Th what? <laughs> so on the lift. Okay, there's definitely like glitch welded pistons in there. But like, how is there pistons in there inside blocks? Oh, okay, the blocks like pop out and then slide into place and then snap in. Got it. <laughs> is, that, is that an air conditioned trophy truck for those hot days? Look at that, they did it in the back too. So yeah, like I was saying, there's always gonna be a special place in my heart for trophy trucks. Some of the best builds, is this not the driver's seat? Oops. Some of the best builds in Scrap Mechanic in terms of uh, like just maneuverability, just getting uh, from point A to point B, some of the most reliable vehicles that never tip over. This is a little bit too slow for my taste though. If you guys saw that other truck earlier, nah, 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 you know exactly where this is going. Where's that, uh, where's that engine? Where's the engine at? Uh, we'll bump it up like uh, one, two, three, four notches. All right, let's see, four notches up. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's that's the speed that I'm looking for. Dang, this thing can go even faster too, like what? Oh yeah, whoops, 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 whoops. Definitely not what a trophy truck is meant to do. 
but it's handling it beautifully. Whoa, look, look at what those suspensions are doing. Those suspensions are working overtime. My, <laughs> they can barely, oh my gosh, they can barely stay on the pipes. And look at the front, the front suspension too. That triangular nonsense. Crazy, crazy stuff. I'm surprised I haven't hit anything yet. Whoops. All right, all right. <laughs> but we're not done just yet. No, no, no. No, 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 just before we go, just before bump up these engines all the way. All right, what does that max engine trophy truck look like? Oh, 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 okay, okay, we're breaking some of the back wheels. Doing nothing but a wheelie, can't even steer. Whoa! Whoa! Can we even reach? I don't, we can't even reach full speed without this thing wanting to tip over. Yeah, so there's definitely like an optimal engine speed. And uh, we overshot it now. All right, and here we got Titanfall 2 Legion. Uh, the big mech called Legion from Titanfall 2 by Ninja Zyborg. Giant bubble block feet. Okay, I think that's uh, to help to help keep it upright. Oh, oh, okay, even got it a little explosive there. I almost set it off. Uh, where do I get the seat? Is there a, it's a switch in the front, right? Switch in the front. Duh, duh. Super cool looking mech. Switch number one closes, opens and closes the door. Uh, switch number two. Whoa there, holy moly. Look at that thing go. That is cool. So a huge minigun. Uh, no! Number three, sit off that explosive that I saw earlier. No, <laughs> no, I didn't know that. No, I did, just give me another one, give me another one. I wanna see what number four does. How dare you, <laughs> how dare you put a, the explosive, the self-destruct on number three. What's number four? Okay, so number four d starts the uh, the walk cycle. I, 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 don't, I don't know if that's a walk cycle. But hey, we have uh, we have some steering. So these mechs are made out of cardboard. That means that means that they are designed to shoot each other. Hop into a mech here, uh, turn around, and uh, what button was it to shoot? It was number two, right? There we go. There we go. Eliminate, eliminate the mech. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that, cut it right in half so easily. And we can self-destruct right out of our own mech. Nice, super, super tiny, realistic moto compo. I'm not exactly sure what that is or what that means. There is no seat on it. You gotta be kidding me. It's like those bots earlier. That's <laughs> a tiny little thing. But then again, I'm also pretty tiny too. All right, so then let's get, uh, oh gosh, lights over there, horn. Not sure what the green switch does. Not sure what the black switch does. Black and green together though, go forward. Hey, we got steering. Nice. All right, all right, I'm definitely gonna put a seat on this thing, are you kidding me? No, 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 not sideways. There you go, facing forward. I like how they're using these tiny, tiny pipes too. And then the regular size pipes as the wheel. Like this is definitely a tiny, tiny bike. All right, how do I do this again? How do I work this machine? There you go, forward. Hank, hank. Beep, beep. Aw, oh, this is adorable. Adorable, oh, this is adorable. This is the type of build that like makes me want to build an entire town, an entire city with filled with streets and like traffic lights and everything. Just to drive this thing around. Just to be able to go like this and just go beep beep coming through mother fathers. Anyway. 
<laughs> That's what I want to do in life. Drive around a moped going beep beep coming through. Up next, we're taking a look at Fairchild Republic A10 Thunderbolt 2. I have no idea what any of that means, but I'm guessing it's a very, very specific plane uh, from like a world war or something. Number one is forward, number two is burr. Number three and four is rotating left and right. You know, I, <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure this out. Okay, so I'm guessing this thing uh, with the caution blocks you can detach and then this little thing over here will tell you the plane's coordinates. Yeah, check it out. Pretty cool. So if I move the plane. Negative 555. Five, five. All right, let's hop into the plane, give it a try, see how it performs. I gotta say, this landing gear is pretty cool. All right, there's a hidden switch on top that you can barely see. Yep. Nice. No, oh, oh, okay, okay. So it has like a uh, sort of glitch steering. Oh, that's pretty cool. It even has blinking lights on the tail fins. Okay, so WNS does control pitch, I think. Uh, number one, it said forward, right? Yep. Number one said forward. Number two said burr. What does that mean? Oh, it's the minigun in the front. Oh, heck yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, pull up, pull up, pull up. <laughs> pull up. Um, number two, or sorry, three and four. Yeah, it was the roll. Number five. Oh, number five's the landing gear, got it. Ah, roll. No, 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 roll. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, 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 roll the other way, other way, other way, other way. Why is my minigun outside of my plane? <laughs> Come on now. Two. <laughs> This would be an amazing plane to actually have a dogfight in. It's a little bit too fast, I think. And then what's number six? Oh, okay, cool. Number six actually displays my coordinates on screen. That's pretty cool. Like all the attention to detail and, uh, and like the lights on the wingtips and everything. Pretty cool stuff. All right, coming up to the last creation today is a tic-tac-toe game by Sir Honey Badger. Let's check it out. This is a full-on tic-tac-toe game. So it does come with some instructions. Uh, the current player is indicated on the left side, so it's gonna be either the X's turn or the O's turn. And then it also keeps track of the score on top. So if one person wins or the other person wins, or if it's a draw, nobody gets a point. Cool, 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 cool. So uh, do we have to press new game or something? I don't know. I don't know if we have to... Does it, does it randomize who goes first or... I think it just alternates. Anyway, so I guess we're going uh, O's first. Uh, we're gonna pick center for O. And uh, X goes next. We're gonna pick a corner. And then for O, over here. And then X obviously has to block. And then O obviously has to block. X has to block. And then O can go over here. X can go over here. And there's Tie game, tie game. All right, so new game. Let's go X, O, X, O, X. Bam, automatically detected a win, automatically given a point. Cool stuff. New game, let's see, X. That's, the, I thought that was gonna be X. <laughs> uh, X, and then O, and then uh, X. And then O obviously has to block, but then gets the win with the with the double. Unless O is confused about this situation and tries to block X here, but not nah, O's got it. O's got it. Amazing stuff. And this is like an entirely self-contained. My goodness. Let's uh, let's open this bad boy up and take a sneak peek at the logic. And uh, open this bad boy up. Take a sneak peek inside. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at all this. Ah, spaghetti. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. 
I mean, I can sort of get an idea of like, uh, like I can see the nine spots. Uh, this just has to do with highlighting the tic-tac-toe, the win, the three in a row. So then what's this? What's this? Just pressing some random things, pressing some random stuff. Pressing some random stuff. All right, what did I do to the game? It's five, five against five. I'm a little bit curious now, new game, new game. I'm a little bit curious. Uh, what happens if I do O, and then X, and then O, and then X, and then O, and then X, and then O, and then X, and now here, this is what I'm actually curious about. What happens if you get a double win? Oh. Hey, it does try to highlight both of them at the same time. Okay, cool, cool, cool. For some, I don't know, I thought maybe I would break the game. It's not that big deal. Anyway, that was super cool, super cool. Thank you guys so much for sending in your creations. I always have a good time checking out all the different kinds of stuff. I mean, there's only so many hours in a day. There's only so many things that I can build in Scrap Mechanics. So I really do appreciate you guys sharing your creations with me. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video, checking them out. So if you guys want to share your Scrap Mechanic creations with me, head on over to my Discord and put your workshop links in the Give Me Your Stuff channel. But that's all that I got for you guys for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't imagine, don't imagine, don't imagine.